Welcome to my channel. My name's Paula and I am starting this channel, which I have been putting off for a long time. Um, hopefully it's something I can do. This is probably take, I don't know, 27 or 28. This is the next step in my reselling journey is starting a channel where I can share some of my knowledge uh, with you and some things um, hopefully we can learn together. I'm sure I'm going to learn a lot from you out there and I hope we can um, become friends. Today I have pulled a few things that I wanted to show you that might be things you can be on the lookout for and some of them are things I've uh, just listed. Other things are uh, items that just sold for me yesterday. So I'm going to share those with you and hopefully as I as I film more and more videos, I get more and more comfortable with this and I get better at what I'm doing and it'll be more enjoyable for you and maybe more not quite as stressful for me to record. So let's get started. I did not know what this was when I saw it. Um, I was in a thrift shop and this was priced at, I think it was priced at $25 and I talked them down to uh, 20 twenty dollars for the whole thing okay this it, it's two parts here this is what's called a vacuum coffee pot um, also called a double bubble coffee pot and when it's put together it looks like this this particular one came with this this plate that goes on top make it look pretty uh, also, three different spouts. One, I assume, I guess that's for tea um, because of that strainer there. And two, uh, two coffee lids. And it comes, normally you would buy it just like that. It's made by the Silex company, which is, uh, I guess, a precursor of Proctor Silex. Probably from about the 40s, I think. And 30s or 40s. And th that particular one came with this, uh, sorry for the reflection there, this double burner, like you would see in a restaurant, has the orig original cord, which is not frayed. Someone might choose to replace it, but it was in really great shape. I uh, tried it out myself um, and it worked. Both burners heated up, which is important because then you can say, you know, it tested it and it works. This little plate is, this one is screwed on. This little plate is just, you, there's no screw hole as you can see there. You just put it on top. I believe it's because you use this, which is a raised kind of grate over the electric coils. This heats up very quickly. You would put the coffee pot on there to make the coffee. And then after you keep it warm, put this plate on, you keep your coffee, uh, you can put the coffee pot on it then and it won't get as hot. This one is also a warmer. So uh, probably Bakelite these switches are, would be my guess. And this base is wood, very deco looking. Uh, I love the, the design here. Very cool. Very cool for someone who is decorating in a mid-century style. Perhaps a cafe or a diner or a restaurant would like this if they've got that vintage vibe. And I'll explain how this works. I had to look it up online, which I really enjoy learning these things. That's part of the fun of this, um, this business. I did buy one piece to go with this set because it didn't have a filter. And you can buy the filters on eBay um, you know, because sometimes the coffee pots are broken, the filters have been saved and people sell them. This particular one is a glass filter. Now there are different filters that you can use with these, but, and they attach with a spring on the bottom, but this one was in the original box. Uh, it's called a Cori glass filter. And the theory is that the, the coffee tastes better if it doesn't hit any, any metal. So supposedly, and I haven't tried it myself, as I said, I'd like, I should have done it, but I do have one of these. So I might try um, making some coffee before I, I list the next one. But what, what happens is here's the filter. So you put this glass rod in and it acts as a filter. You fill this with the appropriate amount of water and you put your coffee in the top. And the vacuum pressure as it heats up, sends the water up into 
the coffee pot on top where the dry where the coffee grounds are and it makes coffee and then you're supposed to i think boil it for like a minute something like that don't try this without looking it up the directions because i'm definitely not an expert on this but i understand you boil it for something like a minute and then you let it you turn it off and as it's cooling down and it, it's not getting cold but as it's it's coming off its boil and cooling down the coffee drips back into the bottom pot and the grounds stay up in the top and so when you're done what you do is you you have to use your finger because this is a vacuum seal and it works very well so you take that part off and you've got your pot of coffee if you want to and as i said when you're when you're brewing it of course you put that on on top it also looks pretty and the other thing you can do is because you probably don't want to wash this right away whoops sorry should have taken the filter out but take the filter out then turn it upside down and you can set it on that spare burner just like this until you're ready to to clean to clean it all up so i'm gonna very carefully put this aside so that i don't break anything before i send it so this sold yesterday it sold in two days i think it was either one or two days oh and by the way that this little filter thing has the directions as well um this sold in either one or two days for full price which i just kind of made up i mean i did look online and i sold it for 199 dollars so cannot complain about that very excited i you know some of these sell for thirty dollars thirty five dollars don't be afraid to price your stuff high i could not find another double burner online so i might have even been able to price it higher but i was i'm happy with that return that 199 i don't have to store it i can wrap it up get it out of here and i got a nice note from the guy that that has purchased it it's going to be it's going to be going out um today's saturday so be going out on monday um and he wanted to know he was very excited wanted to know if i had any info on the history of it and i i told my husband oh i felt like making up a little story about it but of course i would i would never do that but um but that would kind of be fun we could say it came from uh, a diner in the south uh that that um witnessed the uh the sit-ins during during the uh the marches with dr martin luther king um but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna make up a story i'm gonna tell him i, I really have no idea and i'll write him a nice note back but um so that's a, that was an exciting sale for me very happy with that so there's a big learning curve on doing these uh videos but i'm determined in any case this item is something I picked up for, I think I paid $2. It is a 19, probably 1940s era, uh, bride and groom cake, wedding cake topper. And it's made out of chalkware. Actually, it feels like chalk when you, when you touch it. It doesn't really feel like, um, maybe like unfired ceramics, something like that. But in any case, um, it's in good condition. It's not in, it's not in perfect condition, but it's not chipped or anything like that. The flowers you can see are uh, a little discolor discolored from age, but it's it's still quite pretty with the little bell here. And you know, some folks like to have a, a vintage or a theme wedding, shabby chic, um, whatever you might want this for. This would be adorable topping uh, somebody's wedding anniversary cake from maybe the 40s, although that would, yeah, it'd be married, what, 60, 80 years, so I'm not sure about that one, but anyway, you could top it for somebody that got married even in the 50s or the 60s, it would still work. Um, these sell, uh, and they sell pretty well online, some uh, in perfect condition, maybe a little more elaborate, uh, sell for even $100 or close to that. This little guy or little little piece I have priced at uh, $34.95 plus shipping. And I hope you can see that it's a vintage folkware pattern from uh, 1982. And I found this in a box of stuff at a yard sale. The top's kind of ripped. 
but it's an uncut pattern for a seminal jacket, seminal jacket and skirt. And I thought this is definitely something somebody would be looking for. You can't buy this anymore. So I listed this on my eBay. Uh, I, I, I list on eBay and Etsy primarily, but also Mercari and Poshmark. Um, and so this little thing cost me, I don't know, 50 cents, maybe a dollar. And I have it listed for, uh, actually, I'll have to check that. I'm not sure what I have it listed for. I think I have it listed for $20 and I have quite a few watchers. So this is the kind of thing you might want to consider picking up. And it's one of those, yeah, I'll take a chance on it. I mean, I'm not even going to run comps. I'll just see if anybody's interested in this kind of thing because I have a pretty good gut. And a lot of things that I have taken a chance on have turned out to be pretty good uh, purchases. Anyway, let's uh, move on to the next. I think I'm not going to watch this video. I'm probably just going to post it after I edit it. Well, I guess I have to watch it, but I'm not going to enjoy it. Okay. This next item sold in less than a day. I listed this the day before yesterday, and it sold for full price yesterday. It's a Brita on tap a water uh, filter, water filtration system. So it comes with two filters, which I put in the, in the um, description. And these come usually in white or stainless steel. When I was looking at comps, I, I picked it up without looking at comps. I knew this was going to, I think I got it for two bucks probably. And uh, I, you know, if, if I was paying a lot more for it, of course, I would check the comps before I bought it. But for $2, I knew I wasn't going to lose any money. And they come in stainless steel and white. The stainless steel ones send, tend to sell for quite a bit more than the white ones. So the stainless ones sell for around $50. And this one, the white one uh, that just sold, sold for uh, $40 plus shipping. And I'm, I'm very happy with that, with that return. It didn't take long, as I said, sold within, within uh, hours. Uh, I don't think it was even 24 hours. And so this is something to be on the lookout for. You know, pre things that are still new in the package that you get at a really good price, definitely people buy them. Uh, online from from eBay. So uh, again, good return on my investment. This also sold yesterday. And this is a vintage Milton Bradley broadside game. Uh, it's a naval battle game. This is from the 19 uh, from 1962. I found it in my father in law's closet after he passed away. Um, my husband, everyone in the family, they wanted to throw a lot of stuff out that I wouldn't let them get rid of. It's in, I mean, the board is just in, in, in pristine condition. Well, you can see that. It has all the pieces and, um, it, it also has a, a nice, um, little extra booklet on the War of 1812. I, I comp almost everything. Uh, otherwise, how are you going to know what to price things at? I mean, I have a general idea, but I don't want to say I'm greedy, but I do like to get, I, I don't like to regret what I've uh, listed something for and feel like I haven't gotten, you know, everything I can get out of it. Okay, somebody paid $59.99, so $60 for this game, plus $15 shipping. So pretty good little, uh, little chunk of, chunk of change from, uh, looking in the closet and, and the, the box isn't perfect. I mean, I disclosed that there were tape marks on it. Um, I've sell, sold some games with some really beat up boxes and, um, you know, if, if people want it, they want it. I think that's it for today. You probably, it's probably a little too long. Uh, for first video, but I'm going to put it out there and hopefully some of you will um, be willing to watch it all the way through. I hope, hope you will subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Like I said, I'm just starting out and uh, I will see you next time. Thank you again for watching. My name is Paula and the name of my channel is Mini Pastimes. Bye.